Alrighty guys, today we're looking at a special power bank today from our friends at Our Here. They did send this over to check out and show you guys what it is all about. Is there 140 watt, 40,000 milliamp power bank? And I can't wait to show you guys what it's all about. It does look awesome. I've had a little bit of a sneak peek. But without further ado, let's hop into this unboxing. I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. Alright, hopping into this unboxing. As you guys can see, beautiful packaging as always. If you guys haven't seen my other Alhi unboxing, I have done an unboxing on their cables that they did send me, which are really, really awesome cables, which will go really lovely with this portable charger. Um, so I can't wait to put them together. But let's hop into this unboxing. As you guys can see, very nice packaging. A few details on here. It says the Future Starship PD, which is power delivery, 140 watt, 140,000 milliamp power bank. So a lot of words there. But that is, I guess, what it does have. In the box, it says um, it's got obviously the portable charger, USB-C to USB-C cable, and a warranty and manual card, and a few other stats on the side here. Nothing too important. Um, again, stuff that we're going to get into anyway. So let's unbox this, which is, a, as you guys can see, really, really cool unboxing. Portable charger in the middle of everything there. I'll put that to the side for a second. In the box, it's got a few uh, little specs of the actual device itself there. And on the other side, again, a few other specs. Again, nothing we have to really get into. Um, below here, we do have a few bits of information. So we do, as you guys see, cables and manuals at the bottom, it says. If I pop this out, we got this little box here, and I assume this has got the cable in it. Yes, it does. And again, a little bit of a manual in there as well. So if you want to know any specs, I guess you can look at that. I don't think we'll need that, but does you do get a USB-C to USB-C cable in here as well. As you guys can see, USB-C to USB-C cable. Now, I'm a bit upset just because the cables that they do offer you um, when you do pay extra to get the cables are awesome cables. So I wish they would have included maybe one of those cables. So this cable is pretty generic. And then you do look at what they do send you when you do order the other cables and they are awesome. I do forgot, I have forgot the name of these cables, but as you guys can see, these braided cables, metal here, they are awesome compared to just this is plastic cable, but I guess that's what you get when you do pay a bit extra. So. I wish they'd include something, maybe something like this in the box, but they don't, but I thought I'd just point that out. Anyway, moving on to the portable charger itself. As you guys can see, it is a beast of a portable charger. It is huge. This weighs 900 grams, 40,000 milliamps, USB-C in on the back side of it. We do have on and off switch here, um, USB-A input, USB two USB-C inputs as well. Now they do have writing on them. One says USB 0.2. One, so the USB is all enabled, it says USB-C to A out, then USB-C to out, USB-C, everything's labeled there. Anyway, nothing too important again, but um, that is what's there. I've got a bit of a light at the top there, and there is a screen here, which is awesome. Press the button here, I should turn on. As you guys can see, it's a very dim display. You guys probably can't even see that on camera, it's probably hard to see. If you can make that out there, guys, it is awesome. It does have a bunch of details on there. If I can get a bit closer to show you guys, it's a bit hard for the camera to pick it up, but it does have you the percentage of the battery, power bank, and then it shows you what the percentage is coming in and what's going out as well. So as an example, I do have a USB-C cable here and I'm going to plug it into the out, to the, I'm going to plug it into the in here. And then this figure here will change. I'll tell you how much power it's actually gaining. So it says coming in, 17.1 watts of power, which is awesome. I don't think the camera can pick that up. It might be a bit hard, but that is awesome. So obviously the bigger the brick you use, the more power that this will uh, obviously accept. And it accepts, I think, up to 140 watt as well, which does go perfect with um, out his MagCube PD 140 watt charger, which I am bringing in another video. So stay tuned for that. But this is really, really awesome to pair with your portable charger. But I'll save this for another video. Again, it's um, charging. It's on 28% right now. Again, 17.2 watts coming in, which is really, really awesome that you can actually flick and see what uh, the percentage is. And also, you can see what you're um, putting out as well. So I will show you guys that as well. All right, now with this portable charger, I'm going to plug it into one of the USB-C slots here, as you guys can see. And then I'm going to plug it in to my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and we're going to see how much power it does accept. So I plugged it in. It says it's charging. Now I'm going to go to the portable charger, and hopefully it will tell me in the slot 23.4 watts 26.4 watts of power it does say that again it's gonna be a bit hard for the camera to pick it up um 25.5 watts there it is uh inputting into my iphone 15 pro max and again that will change depending on what device you put it into if i go into a macbook it will charge a bit more so now i'll plug into my macbook pro and i'll tell you what that comes out of so 
So now plugging into my MacBook Pro, this will uh, power a MacBook Pro 16 inch at full speed at no problems at all, it says. I, I did plug it in to charge my MacBook Pro and the battery actually dropped, so I think I need to charge this. But um, I'm gonna do that now and I'll come back to you guys once it's all charged. But as you guys can see, it does tell you your percentage of battery that you are charging. It says 0% right now for this, but very big portable charger at 40,000 milliamps, but something that is awesome to have. Now, if you are traveling, you probably can't take this on the plane. It is a little bit too big. Um, but if you're doing anything else, road trips or anything even around the house, this is something you won't have to charge very often. If you are charging your phone or iPad, you better get a lot of charges out of this uh, for something like your phone. All right, I've been using the Alhi Power Bank, the uh, 40,000 milliamp one now for a few days, and I want to give you my general thoughts um, and views on it. First things first, as you can see, it is ginormous. It is a very big power bank. Um, to be fair though, it is 40,000 milliamps, like what do you expect? Like it can't be too small because there's 40,000 milliamps of power, which is huge. As context, I have a 20,000 milliamp one off Amazon. Here's the size difference. So in terms of like height, they're pretty much exact same. It's just thickness. So obviously the 20,000 one, 20, one is obviously half as thick as you guys can see. Um, but I think it's a really, really good product. It's got two USB-C slots, one USB-A slot, uh, they brought all 140 watt output on every single port is what said in the manual. I made a bit of a mistake. It doesn't actually do 140 watts from each from each USB slot. It actually does 140 watts combined. So I can do like 18 watts from the USB-A and then 60 watts from both USB-Cs at the same time. So all together it's 140 watts, but it doesn't actually do it all at one time. It can do it from each individual port, 140 watts with nothing else connected or all together will equal 140 watts if that makes sense. Hope it does. I'll put a little bit of, of an image on screen from our, his website so you guys can have a look. Just wanted to clarify that. Um, USB-C uh, in on the back to charge it up, which is great. And it accepts up to about 140 watts of charging as well input. So it does charge up very, very, very fast. I charge it from zero to 100 in a few hours. I can't ex tell you exactly how many hours. I didn't really take count, but it was within a night in terms of I plugged it in maybe around five o'clock and maybe by nine, 10 o'clock it had fully charged. Like it was really, really fast. Granted, I was using a 140 watt um, charger. So that is another video that's coming that I did show you before the Mag Cube that is another Aohi product. That's what I used to charge this up and it worked great seamlessly, charged it very, very fast. It does have power delivery 3.1, which means I can actually charge up my MacBook Pro 16 inch with this thing, which I did try. I plug my MacBook Pro in, not even with the MacBook Pro charger, I actually just use a USB-C to USB-C cable, um, and it was charging it perfectly fine. So if you are looking for something to charge up your MacBook Pro, this is great. It probably charges your MacBook up maybe four times. Um, I think the battery of the MacBook Pro is roughly uh, about 9,000 milliamps close to, so probably about four and a half times it can use this to charge it up. So very, very, very good. They also do have a smaller 30,000 milliamp version as well, if you are interested in that. Um, but the only problem I have is that obviously because they're so big, nothing against the here, but you just can't travel with them because the current limit, I believe, on the plane is 100 watt hours or 110 or something like that. Um, and these are upwards of 144 watt hours, it says. If I could travel with it, I would. And the other downside is obviously, again, because it's so big, it does weigh 900 grams. So it is a behemoth of a portable charger. It does weigh quite a bit, but... I think it's a really good portable charger for anything. If you're just doing road trips or you want to work remotely or anything like that, this is a great little power station to have for the price of it. So it is on sale right now for two hundred dollars. And if you lose, if you use my link in the description down below, you'll get fifteen percent off as well. I really do like the LCD display, the little LED display um, on the front. It is awesome. The LED display shows you all the percentages of the watts that are coming in and out, um, depending on what you're charging and what I guess you're charging with. Um, but it is, yeah, really, really awesome. Um, for what it is, I think Alhi have done a really great job. I can't really say anything negative about it because for every time I've used it, I never had a problem with it. It's charged great and um, big thumbs up. If, like I said, if you guys are interested, check out the link in the description down below on the Alhi Starship 40,000 milliamp, 140 watt power bank. Big thumbs up from me. So thank you to Alhi for sending this out for me to check out. They haven't paid me to say anything about their product. They literally just sent this out for me to do a review on. So no bias happening here. They literally just sent this out and they said, would you like to check it out? And I said, yes, because I'm sure that's something that people would love to see. So if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Stay tuned and I'll catch you guys soon with another video.